Well, hello there, Pisces, and welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, Love, Money, Career, for the period beginning the 25th of January, 2021. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you, so you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign and your rising sign as well to get a bigger picture. Okay. Let's get started. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find my new channel. Really appreciate that. Ooh. Thanks, Spirit. Two fell up. If this is your first time, know that I have an army of spirits with me here at all times. Uh, I'm also getting some of the spirits of the people that are guided to these videos in here, past loved ones. Um... They're pushy, they sing, they dance, they show me things I cannot unsee. Uh, in Jan December, one of the Leo readings, they turned my television on. So lots of fun stuff happening over here because they want to get their message heard. They want you to know that they're here, that we do not end after we transition. Speaking of, so I, I have a crooner here. I have a male... Uh, late 70s, early 80s. He's very debonair, very suave, and uh, eh, not too tall, you know, 5'7 uh, to 5'10. Um, he says, you should have seen me in my youth. And he's singing me, uh, I don't know whose song this is, Fly Me to the Moon, da 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 Something about Jupiter and Mars, okay. So... This is appropriate for a reading, obviously, since there's Jupiter and Mars in it, and we're talking about the stars, right? Thanks, guy. Okay. Oh, somebody's singing me one of my favorite songs. Um, here comes the sun, doobie doobie. Here comes the sun. That is a younger person. Uh, when I say younger, I'm saying 40s, 50s. I don't know how long ago they passed. Um, it was a uh, very abrupt passing. Uh, wasn't long and drawn out. And I'm seeing you used to play ball together. This is an, a, 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 um, a male, sorry. A, young, a young, younger person. When I say young, because they're under under 70. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what do we have, spirits, for our lovely Pisces for this week? Because this is a spirit reading, so you might have homework for this week. For the week of January 25th, what do we got for these guys, huh? Okay. We've got the Knight of Swords. We've got the four of wands arise in reverse. We've got the two of swords, king of cups, queen of coins. Ooh, and we have money. We have the, uh, the six of coins. All right, so let's get started. So let's take a look at this. Drama, 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 um, roller coaster drama, stress at the beginning of this period. So you're walking into the 25th with a lot of stress uh, in your space, whether you're creating it, the circumstances you're in creating. Okay, some of you are moving. I'm sure that's a very stressful time. Um, but yeah, you got something going on that's causing you a lot of uh, stress and drama. Drama with the family, drama with the situation. Uh, sudden truths will come to light, uh, could come to light that uh, where conflicts, underlying conflicts are, are exposed. So even though this is a celebratory period you're moving into, okay, even though it's a celebratory period, period uh, and, you know, new projects, moving to a larger property, uh, putting down roots. Um, even in even new partnerships uh, in work and 
uh, in love, okay, it's, it's, it's not, there's some minor irritations, okay, so nothing, nothing that's terrible, nothing that's not, uh, not surmountable, just, you know, um, it's still a celebratory time, it's just there's some little, little, little annoyances that get in the way, little, um, tiny little hurdles that you can just kind of walk over, but some little things that you have to just sort out, including making a decision. Uh, it's time to decide what, um, I, the decision is not going to be difficult to make. You just kind of been on the fence about, about, um, about something here rega regarding the situation and you kind of at a stalemate. There are some conflicts uh, that you've been avoiding. And Spirit is asking you <clears throat> to take some time this period to help resolve them. If, if they could be inner conflicts. A fear of maybe if you're moving away from, um, from, from family. Fear of being alone. Whether it's because you're moving away out of a comfortable area into a new area. A new beginning is always a little scary. Um, I don't care who you are. Uh, new job is always a little scary. So, so you have to decide, um, to do your typical conflict avoidance, or are you going to embrace the change in the positive way that it should, you know, and spirit is saying, follow your heart. You know, when you follow your heart, uh, then you will be in the right space in order to receive all the gifts that are that are coming and gifts are coming i mean we've got um you've got the support and wisdom uh through the queen of pentacles all right uh it's practical support in order to get everything done that you need to get done during this period and then you've also got the six uh six of coins now what's in the six's hand money. What's around the six? Money. So what do you think? Money is coming. So it talks about money coming. It talks about overall support um, for projects. It, it talks about having enough money to pay off whatever it is that you need to pay off as you're going. Let's say you are moving. You can pay the movers. You can pay the moving thing. You can go in there and you can actually buy yourself a sandwich, you know. But... Um, it's, it's about abundance and, and a really good good move for you guys. All right. Let's pull a couple of other cards here. So we've got the, the Eight of Rods. And the Eight of Rods is um, it's all about positive, uh, immediate positive improvement, good news, progress, um, new offers if you're looking for work and you're, or if you're starting a... Um, a new business, this is a really good time to do it. Um, if you're looking for love, you can bring, this abundance can mean love as well, a new love relationship, but P Pisces, what do you want? All right, you have to know what you want. If you're tired of being with Mr. Gorgeous with a really good kiss, but nothing else behind it, um, then write yourself a list. Make everything a positive. I will not call you a picky bitch if you have 200 items. It's okay. All right? But every single thing you write down. So don't write down that 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 uh, that they're a drunk. Write down, enjoys an occasional drink twice a week. Whatever, whatever it is, but make everything a positive. Look and see what the most important ones are to you. Mark them off. Take the list. Print it out, put it in your the, in a shoebox in your closet, hide it away, which is what I'm talking about. Why? Because the universe doesn't want to hear, are we there yet? And then work on yourself. I don't care if it's Louis Vuitton, honey. Everybody's got baggage. It's time to get rid of it. Okay? So if you want to, as I said, call the love and you can. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we got the sun coming in here. So, oh, there's the song. Thank you, guys. So here comes the sun. The sun is coming. Uh, it's about um, feeling comfortable and secure in your space, 
And again, for those of you who are moving, you will, you will make that space your little sanctuary. It's about partnerships blooming under the sun. So again, if you're looking for that love or you just started a new relationship, that can really have a positive out, out, um, outcome for you. And it's about success, um, success in, in business, even though the sun doesn't specifically predict money, it does show success and positive, uh, positive positions in the ability to generate money. So all in all, a fabulous reading for you this period, Pisces. So, I, okay, spirits, stop bothering the dog. Sorry. There's so many spirits in here. <laughs> and they just, they, they, you know, when they want to get my attention, sometimes they, um, they tease the dog. No good. All right. So what do we got for the two cards? We got Kuan Yin. Come here. All right. Come here. No? You want to... All right. All right, so say hello. Okay. All right, so we've got Kuan Yin who says let it go. Let go of the stress. Let go of the drama. It doesn't serve you. All right? And we have trust. Trust that the universe is Vishnu. Trust that the universe is bringing you in a place that is for your highest and best good. You know, if we don't go with the flow, the universe will take us there upstream, dragging, well, it will bring us in the right direction, kicking and screaming, because it will drag us there, okay, let go, let go with the flow, don't try to control everything, when things don't go the way you think they should go, I always say, hey guys, whoever the proverbial them is, I'm sure something amazing will happen, more amazing, more delicious than I could possibly imagine, make it a gasm. And that's how I flow. So, that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. If this resonates with you, if you um, want to me to connect with your energy, or if you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below. Private reading information is in the description. So is all the, the cards and books, etc., and, and crystals, and links to everything that you might want to, if you're interested. Okay, guys, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Take care.